ของกุยจบอองจุดแบบกรรมโตกจำราการในที่สำนักกาสำนักการในทางนี้องจุดแบบคือสำนักการโตสดับสักเหตกรรมในจำเรียนโมริสลำจีสำนักกาโลกไอมหอยนาฬิกาบีธนาพิบวัตเมียนอวัตเมียนพิกีนบกโกลได้องจุดแบบก่อนเชื่อในโจรวมในขนมเป็นจำราการสำนักกาทั้งไงดีสูงครุบลกเทียนสำหรับสำนักการทั้งไงดีกลางที่กอดสมควรเคยท้ากรุบเปียกีแตงอ๋อในเรื่องใดนี่เมียนวัตเมียนโดยไล่เลือกบุญชี้เมียนวัตเมียนลงบรรทุกคงครูนแข่งกรมสาวสัปนาการนี้โดยโลกสนาสมและบองสุดเมียนวัตเมียนตัวปีบรรทุกสัปนาการเอาทั้งไงดีลิขิตและบองสุดรบลูกบุญชี้บ้านประกอบดอลกลางที่รุ่ยไทยเนี่ยจุดเด่นได้แต่งตัวหมดดอลสกายกามเอาทั้งไงนี่คือโลกสตีเฟนมอริสโลกเมียนวัตเมียนรุ่ยไทยเอาขนมบรรทุกสัปนาการนี้สมควรลูกเทียนบ่าคุณที่ตะบงที่อ่อนยิ้มเรียบสำหรับเดินสำนาส้มระบบจุนจบจอดนุ่นที่ยืมมุนสันอ่อนยิ้มเรียบบานตัวลิขิตส้มเรียบมองสุดโจรมขนมสำนักกาได้ตัวขนมบุตรสำนักกาหนี้ระบบจุนจบจอดนุ่นชี้จอดทั้งไอจีดับบุญวนไข่ตุลาชนาบีบอลดับบุญวุ้ยได้บานมาเจาะทาได้ก่อนมีปัญหาสุขเพียบชีกบาชื่อจงแก้มันไอยังกุยบ้านมันไอพี่ย่องอารมณ์บรรยูนังดำไปเมียนแต่เพียบโจรมสำนักกาหนี้ไข่ขังมกอเมียนบุตรสำนักเพียบครวนทมเรียบบองสุดโจรมหนึ่งมีบทเมียนได้ตัวขนมบุตรสำนักกาในทางจิตดับบุญใครตัวลายชนะพิบอลดับบุญมวยมันเคยกำหนดให้เป็นนักตกเพียบขึ้นจอบจอดหนุ่มเชี่ยดเปลืองลายกรุเปิดประจำกาปีนัดเพียบาไทยตอมตกเพียบขึ้นจอบจอดเนื้ออบตโกจอบทางจิตดับบุญใครตัวลายชนะพิบอลดับบุญมวยมันก็ทำกอปีสถานเพียบสกเพียบระบาดลงหนุ่มเชี่ยในทางนี้ทำเมนากระชื่อจังเกะชื่อขนมรำไรอังกุยยูมันมันหนึ่งบานพอดอลอนุสัถ้าสมัยอังยิมเรียอันยาไอลูกนุ่นเชี่ยโจรวมตามนานกันจำนากาสำนากาปีมันตุ้มมุ้ยทัดกรอมซาสัตมกานี่ไอเดือมุลธานี่หนึ่งยงตามมาเป็นยัดในประเทศแปดสิบมวยปรามในประเทศไต้ขนองอบตกออังจิมเรียอันยาไอจิมจุกจอดนุ่นเชี่ยโจรวมตามนานกันจำนากาสำนากาปีจังไงปีมันตุ้มคุมขลุ่นมุ้ยทัดกรอมซาสัตมกานี่ตามเยาะบุกอสตุ้งสำหรับเยาะปีสำนากาปิ้งมวยไทยนี่บุกอไอบกลึกในทอตุ้งจบประปอนทอตุ้งสำหรับจิมจุกจอดนุ่นเชี่ยไอจูรุ่มหนึ่งตามนานกันจำนากาสามนากาไปอย่างไงทำลองปีนในกันจำนากาสามนากาสำหรับไงนี่เชื่อประตูตอนนี้เราจะการจุนเตอร์เมตุวีกาปีกระไดลูกนุ่นเชี่ยคือลูกเมตุวีเป็นจักรปีดำไปมันโตกาตังสมบูรณ์ดาวจิบัวสะใสแทนกิวมิสเตอร์ปรีสิเดนต์เมตุวีกุเปส่งออกคนลงประเทศจุดสุดโลกโลกใส่จะพร้อมสักการจะออกจุดสุดโลกจำเนียนบนเพียงโจทย์เพียงบอลทำไมนี่เมียนสมรู้มุ้ยแต่บอลตอนนึงสักการกามระบอลโลกการพิมพ์สมิงแต่เด็กยมมาจองสู่ตัวการโลกยังเมียนสกัดเปลี่ยนปฏิจรักมีเกิดจำนวนการในแต่ปฏิกาลีมาสัลมิงเด็กตัวปีตัวนึงสมรู้ระบบยมของปียูเซตอะไรประมาณประมาณสิบโลมองประหารจิตดับปรามอภัยปรามรัสเซีย And a bit further, around 1588. อาจารย์ประยอดเราไปทราบว่าพอสมรับเกี่ยวกับการปฏิทินบนแต่ประหลาดประหลาดก็มาเป็นเจ้าบ้านไอ้ท่าปฏิทินการปฏิทินเราแต่เราต้องจะมุ่งเว้นน้ำหายเป็นเจ้าเราเพียงการเกิดการตระหนุนจะมุ่งเว้นน้ำหายเรามัวยุโรปกลยุทธ์บายมุ่งเว้นได้เปียกปอนตะนั่งกลยุทธ์บายเชลินเปียนคงโกลบอกประเทศวิตนามจอกาดอกสรองอันนี้คือเจ้าไว้ในโลกบ้านชาวพิมพ์สัลมิงไอ้บรีฟลีเมนชั่นไอ้ขยมกบาลเลิกลานสังขารเป็นซีนุกสปิช
I will not quote his full speech, but um, a few things that he said, for instance, in his document, he uh, um, English ERN 01001643. And Mr. President, um, all paragraphs of his speech are the same uh, in French and ยังยกยกกระทะคันของ but on the very morrow of the final victory in April 75, a victory over imperialism, in the wake of the unification of the two Vietnams, North and South, the Socialist Republic of Vietnam decided, cold-bloodedly, to embark upon a very special operation whose ultimate goal was nothing less to swallow up the country. Just as a starving boa fling itself uh, upon uh, an innocent animal. Further on, in paragraph 79, he compares the invasion of uh, Hitler's attack, the Nazi Germany's attack uh, of Poland in 1939, and he strongly condemns the aggression. Now, having said that, uh, three days earlier, um, he gave a press conference uh, in Beijing. Are you aware of the things he said during the press conference uh, to the international press? Uh, no, I do not recall what he said at that time. Um, there he actually uh, answered the questions the as to um, uh, the policy of DK and whether, um, uh, DK's position and reaction to what Vietnam uh, was appropriate. He said, um, let me first ask, is it, is it correct to say that China in 1979 and before was one of the um, protectors or, or patrons of the that they were very well, or, uh, had very warm and cordial relations with uh, Ben Seymour, would that be Yes, that would be correct. So, so this is what he said, uh, among other things. เอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อ
ហើយព្រះអង្គមិនបន្ទូលថាពេលដែលនិយាយអំពីពតពតពេលព្រះអង្គ would you agree with me that there is really no difference in position and between his position and the decay's position in terms of the Vietnam Vietnamese nation? Uh, it would appear so on the basis of that statement. Uh, however, I would say that uh, uh, there was a common interest in repelling the Vietnamese invasion at that time. And so I would s suggest that um, differences that existed may have been uh, papered over because of the common interest. Um, I would like to follow up on that, but I, I will not because of May time. Uh, uh, let me move now to my, uh, my next subject, uh, Mr. Morris. Uh, and that is something that uh, we could also debate uh, for the whole day, but we have to be very short on this. And that's um, um, Vietnam's or the, uh, the Communist Party of Vietnam's ideology because of time's sake, I would like to move immediately to um, um, the period of temporal jurisdiction of, of the court. Um, you have quoted in your book um, John who said that there was a clear victory for the pro-Soviet uh, faction already uh, in 1974. However, you also mentioned in the book um, the fourth ក្នុងសម្ភពរបស់លោកលោកវាអំពីសម្មាជិកលើកទីបួននរបស់បាក់ពលកោវៀតណាមហើយក្រៅបស់ខ្លាយទៅជាបាក់កុំរីវៀត
Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste une, une requête en ce début d'audience. Si notre confrère pouvait systématiquement citer les pages des ERN, des livres, Monsieur Maurice, ou des autres sources auxquelles il fait référence, cela permettrait à tout le monde de suivre bah, assez vite ce qui des sources. Donc, si vous pouviez lui rappeler, Monsieur le Président, de systématiquement citer le RN ou la page de l'ouvrage de Maurice et les autres sources auxquelles il fait référence lors de ses sources. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, Monsieur le Président. อ่าโอเคนะครับท่านลูกมิตรบีเวทีกบีนั้นอนุวัตรบ้านละอปสาตรัมตรึกตามตำนานตำนานนี้ผู้ตำนานนี้สมทรพนะอ่าโนบรอ
The Vietnamese supported the Soviet position on Czechoslovakia in 1968, uh, including the rationale of the Soviet Union. Um, the reason I'm discussing Czechoslovakia uh, is twofold. Uh, one, because the internal DK policies, uh, especially by Son Sen, Czechoslovakia is um, very important to the situation. Um, but let me concentrate first now on something uh, Nayanchanda has said in his book. Uh, that is uh, zero zero Five eight zero. Pram, pram Let me read it to you. Um, in late 1978. Sorry, I think we got the English. Oh, I didn't hear it. Uh, yes, I, I just mentioned it. It's zero zero nine one nine two four zero one. Space two hundred and sixteen of his book. Uh, uh, so this is what Chandra writes. Uh, um, in late January 1978, General uh, Grigory Pavlovsky, Pavlovsky Commander-in-Chief of the Soviet Ground Forces, arrived in neighboring Laos in a special airflow jetliner for a friendly visit. The Vietnamese Minister of Defense, General uh, Vo Nhien Yap, flew to Vieng Sai, in northern Chỉ Laos for an unpublicized meeting with the Soviet general Pavlovsky advice Pavlovsky official told me years later was to a Czechoslovakia. It goes on to uh, uh, describing Yap's reaction. But, um, Soviet advice to Vietnamese um, ສະຫວຽດບານດອນຄອມມິວນິດສະຫວຽດບານດອນຄອມມິວນິດສະຫວຽດບານດອນຄອມມິວນິດສະຫວຽດບານດອນຄອມມິວນິດສະຫວຽ
Um, I do recall that uh, quote, I'm not quite sure the implications of it, uh, I think it was uh, needed to be um, fleshed out a little bit more, the argument that he was trying to make. Um, um, one very last question on Vietnamese ideology, I'm going to move on to my next subject. Uh, in your book, uh, 0100175, uh, you say that the Vietnamese consistently uh, defended Stalin all the way up until 1970. Uh, is that true? And, and can you explain why that was? Uh, I'm sorry, I think I missed that question. Yes, it's true, uh, and as to why it was is an interesting question. Um, <coughs> I think that the um, Vietnamese communists celebrated the Communist International, uh, the Comintern, um, as a great period in the history of the Communist movement. And Stalin was the head of, not the official head of the Comintern, but it, the de facto leader of the Comintern during most of its life. Um, it was the Comintern which created the Vietnamese Communist Party, and it was Stalin who um, more or less was the, 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 the most revered leader of uh, international communism at the time in which the Vietnamese Communist Party had later renamed the Indo-Chinese Communist Party was formed. I think that um, the, the, the Vietnamese Communists believed that uh, Stalin had created a unified international communist movement uh, and that he did not tolerate uh, divergency, uh, he did not tolerate um, independence, and um, therefore uh, he was a model uh, for the development of the communist movement in the time subsequent to his death. Um, the Vietnamese were very unhappy with what we used to call police centrism in the communist world. The Vietnamese were unhappy with different centers of power in the communist world and uh, they wanted to see, as Ho Chi Minh said uh, just before he died, that uh, the, unif the reunification of all the communist parties uh, is one of my most cherished hopes. Isn't it correct that even in 1979, after the invasion of Cambodia, um, celebrating, I believe, the 100th birthday of Stalin, they still um, argued that Stalin's policies were correct. And they still argued Yes, they still argued that Stalin's policies were correct, and as far as I'm aware, that continued into the 1980s. And is it then also correct to say that there was no necessity to do so because I believe Hungarians or Czechs took a totally different position on Stalin, even the Soviets themselves? Yes, that is correct. Um, there was no political necessity in terms of the national interests of Vietnam or the, of the, Viet, the, the security uh, interests of the Vietnamese Communist Party to be celebrating Stalin, Stalinism, and the international communist movement under Stalin. Uh, I think uh, the celebration of Stalin and the international communist movement reflects the true ideological beliefs of the Vietnamese 
Vietnamese Communist leadership. Thank you. I'm moving on to my next subject. Um, we briefly touched upon it yesterday um, about um, when we were talking about the Vietnamese uh, perspective of Khmer. Uh, you were also in your book uh, on 0101. Um, 1692 we talked about the quote unquote in Chanda and, and uh, the Philip Short, for instance, we see the, the same things. Um, but let me move away from the, the cultural arrogance and, and contempt for the culture to other, um, um, well, quote-unquote, characteristics of um, Vietnamese leaders. I'm not interested in what the average Vietnamese person would say, but I'm interested in what um, uh, Lu Duan and Lu Duan Tho and others would think. Words that I have um, written down reading Chanda and Shor and others are uh, the following words. Uh, so they're not mine. Um, calling um, the Vietnamese in the foreign policy um, arrogant, deceitful, uh, condescending, untrustworthy. And I'm particularly interested in the words deceitful and untrustworthy. untrustworthy. Um, have seen in the Soviet archives, if I understand correctly, um, Soviet Union complaints, um, diplomats in Hanoi complaints about um, the deceitful behavior of the Vietnamese in, I believe, 1972. Can you uh, expand a bit on this? this and while he's waiting, since you yourself said you're quoting somebody, please uh, give us the references. Um, certainly, um, the expert is um, talking about um, untrustworthy Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese on 01001876 and 01001878. Chanda is talking, just get the English here, and uh, on 00192588 about uh, Americans being suspicious about the quote-unquote tricky Vietnamese. Um, um, the other quotes on how, how patronizing I just mentioned. Um, I believe the, uh, the expert in his book refers to um, on page 0100-1720 to um, uh, Henry Kissinger. Noticing the condescending, cynical yeah. attitude of Le Duc Tho, um, and also Short uh, goes on about this. But let me refer basically to, that's what I'm interested in, um, Mr. Lexman, what the Soviets uh, meant when they called the Vietnamese deceitful. Uh, when the Soviets referred to the Vietnamese as deceitful, they were referring to the fact that the Vietnamese did not share the strategic plans with the Soviet Union, that they accepted Soviet assistance, mm -hmm. willing to gladly, uh, but did not reveal always what that assistance was going to be used for, precisely. And, uh, 
one of these statements came in the context of the planning of the, what was called the Easter Offensive in Vietnam in 1972, when the Soviet Union, or at least when Vietnam was planning the biggest offensive of the Vietnam War, ការពីរកត្រៀមសង្គ្រាមយ៉ាងសំខាន់មួយនៅប្រជាជាមួយវិញ្ញាណកាន់តំបងដែលគាំទ្រដោយអាមេរិកនៅពេលនោះគឺប
ໂດຍປະມວຍອັງເລມີໄລສອນສອນ the his hatred of the Vietnamese was visible in his Vietnamese Vietnamese អ្នកកាត់ទូថៃបានរៀបរាប់នេះ <coughs> 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 I think the Chinese leadership in general was very, very ຫຼືບໍ່ບາງກົມນີ້ຈັ່ງຄືຖ້າຊົນວິດນາມກູ Having read 
នៅអ្វីដែលលោកបានសរសេរគឺការបង្កើតការគ្រប់គ្រងយោបាយអត្ថពលយោបាយទៅលើបានដៃកម្ពុជាការគ្រប់គ្រងបដិវត្តកម្
forces attacks on the government of Lono. Uh, the, uh, the Vietnamese had two principal uh, instruments for controlling the insurgency. Um, one was liaison committees which were set up between the Vietnamese communists and the Cambodian communists, which were these liaison committees, were controlled by the uh, Vietnamese. Uh, and secondly, they had the what were called the Khmer Viet Minh, uh, the Cambodians who had retreated from Cambodia in 1954 at the signing of the agreement France and the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Those Cambodians who retreated back to North Vietnam in 1954 were re-infiltrated back into Cambodia from 1970 onwards. And Hanoi believed that these Hanoi trained Cambodian communists would be an instrument for Vietnam to control the Communist Party of Cambodia. Thank you. On page well, I mean, uh, the, the two methods that I've just referred to, the liaison committees and the Khmer Viet Minh, as they were called, the Khmer trained Cambodian communists, <coughs> made it very clear that uh, Hanoi wanted to control the insurgency. Um, thank you. Um, in um, ពីជាចំណេះអាចគ្រាតរបស់ខ្មែរកំហំនៅឆ្នាំ Hanoi was forced to wait until they could try other methods. I think that the, uh, that the uh, Vietnamese communists um, felt that the <laughs> fact that the Khmer Rouge had come to power um, before the Vietnamese communists, two weeks before the Vietnamese communists, meant that the Vietnamese communists could not um, claim to uh, or actually in effect uh, secure communist victory in Cambodia. It had been secured despite uh, the Vietnamese communists' uh, ambitions. Uh, Therefore, uh, the situation would have to wait uh, until uh, a Vietnamese, I believe, Vietnam. Uh, anticipated that the agents of influence, the Khmer Viet Minh, so to speak, and those Cambodians who had some relationship with Vietnam, um, would be able to uh, assert themselves and a friendly policy towards uh, Vietnam.
អង់គ្លេសមេលេខ <coughs> 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 Excerpt. He says that at least one of the many assassination plots against Pol Pot are recounted in the book was confirmed in the detail of the U.S. troops who killed in mid-'70s oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je pense qu'il y a un problème à la mesure où le, le livre noir, me semble-t-il, est euh, fondé. La plupart de ces sources proviennent de confessions obtenues à S21. Et, euh, comme on l'a déjà eu l'occasion de le dire, <coughs> ces confessions ont été obtenues sur la torture et ne sont pas recevables devant cette chambre. That's actually a very interesting observation because that's how we are um, discussing um, the implications of what you're saying um, um, is that whatever Japan is that whatever decay has ever set about the team about the assassination attempts or the coup d'etats only comes from confession D1 um, from um, confession D1 from confession D1 from confession D1 ពិតទេដែលថានួនជាអ្នកជំនាញនៃ <coughs> Plutôt que de citer Nayan Chanda, qui est une source secondaire, pour vérifier effectivement quelle est la source sur laquelle s'appuie le nom de Nayan Chanda. That doesn't make any sense what you're saying. Uh, uh, just just refer, not to the Black Book. Je vous en prie, vous pouvez mettre côté. Vous pouvez vous abstenir de ce genre de commentaires. I certainly will not. Um, I'm not referring to the Black Book to be very clear. I'm referring to the Khmer Rouge Defector who recounted uh, assassination plot towards US officials. Nothing about black book. Um, 
Mr. President, I just have one comment on this report defector. As we know, the Khmer Rouge publicized after arrests and executions their supposed reasons for arresting and executing people. And the defector, I don't know this, but it doesn't say whether the defector had personal knowledge or was just repeating what he had heard. ตัวเรื่องที่ควรจะทักก็สำหรับเรื่องการประกาศระบบขมายกับโฮมอัมพีมูลไฮได้กิจจับขลุ่นจากใครให้สำหรับแต่ใครจะได้เชื่อเข้
start then by not referring to this mid-February uh, meeting of which the Nigel Nigel gave, gave um, details as to exactly where in the city took place, etc. Let me move back a bit, um, um, to the period before and let me read to you what Chandra said about uh, when um, Vietnam first started to uh, make preparations for uh, I'll be referring to his book, um, English ERN 0192381, and that is in French 0027064, and in Khmer 0019129. Here he says the following. A later official Vietnamese account reveals that preparations for the most important coup uh, attempt against the Pol Pot regime began in November 1977. Um, let me also quote um, what apparently um, a Soviet diplomat told uh, a colleague of his from India, that is um, Chanda 0019283, a French 0027065, Yes, it sa he says the following. The Soviets were also kept informed of Vietnamese moves against the Pol Pot regime. In November 1977, a Soviet diplomat in Hanoi confided to an Indian colleague that an anti-Pol Pot resistance uh, was in the making. It consisted of a group of 10 to 15 central level leaders at least three of whom were old members uh, of the Vietnamese led ICP. Um, these preparations, which uh, uh, presumably already started at least in November 77, is that something that you uh, came across during your research in the Soviet archives? I came across it. Just for the besoin du transcript, the next part is the name of the official Vietnamese who is referred to as Chanda, the name of the diplomat soviétique. Now that is a very interesting question, Judge Laverne. That's one of the reasons why we would like to have Marian Chanda testify here in court. Um, I'm not sure as a journalist who would reveal his sources. But can you just answer the question? Can you give the names or can't you? And if you can't, tell us why. Because Marian Chanda doesn't uh, disclose his sources. Um, he does um, actually um, refer in, this, in the first um, footnote to uh, something called the Kampuchea dossier. This is a French 
What I encountered was evidence of attempted insurgency, but not necessarily of a coup d'état. The concept of a coup d'état was not something that I came across in my in my research. Again, that's not to say that such things did not occur. I can only say what I saw. What I read, uh, and I did not read about uh, attempted coup d'état. I did read about attempted insurgencies against the government of Democratic Country. I'm not sure if you correct, and that's also the reason why I gave you the excerpt from your dissertation yesterday. I hope you had a chance to have a look at this. Let me repeat the English here and again. President 0133519735. This is what you wrote in your dissertation. According to a major from the National Army of Democratic Kampuchea, who had defected to Thailand in September, Heng Samri had attempted a coup against the government in Phnom Penh the previous April. However, the second in command of Heng Samri's 4th Division, based at Kampung Chan, warned the government and the plot was crushed. So it, it, it seems that you do speak about uh, Uh, your previous question had asked me, did I find evidence in Soviet archives of a coup, in my reading of the Soviet archives? And my answer to that is, as I stated, no, I didn't find evidence in Soviet archives. Uh, the evidence you cited is from my dissertation is not from Soviet archives. I, I apologize. Uh, that's uh, absolutely correct. Um, before I move to the mid-February 78 Polo meeting, let me just follow up a bit on um, this excerpt. Uh, are you in a position to tell us uh, who the major was that affected to Thailand who said that Heng Samri had attempted a coup against the government in Phnom Penh? Uh, no, I'm not in a position to tell you, simply because I do not know. I reported everything that came in an AFP report uh, 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 from uh, Hong Kong in December of 1978. Um, but I, I, I think I revealed everything that was in the report of substance. Uh, I, I do not have any knowledge of who the major was. Um, maybe it's because of us, but we weren't able to, to locate this um, AFP report. Um, one question, um, you referred to uh, the previous April. Now, is that April 78 or is that the April in 77? Um, I think it was April 1978. That would make... Uh, that would make sense. That would make sense. Um, um, and final question, uh, the second in command um, of Heng Samrin's 4th Division, do you know whether he was mentioned by name in um, the underlying source? Uh, 
I doubt that he was mentioned by name because I think I would have uh, I would have reported his name in the in the dissertation. បាទអរគុណឥឡូវនេះដល់ពេលសម្រាក់ហើយអាចមានកាសម្រាក់ចាប់ពីនេះទៅទៅលោកហ៊ុនអំងដល់ប្រឡាស់សូមជើញជល់